Greetings YouTube, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back as we look at another indie game. This time we're looking at a title called Cannon Brawl for the PlayStation 4 by Temple Gates Games. Cannon Brawl takes the classic turn-based strategy of the Worms games and combines them with tower defense and real-time strategy mechanics. Similar to titles like Scorched Earth and Bang Bang. At the surface level, the game presents as a frantic, real-time strategy game, but it has a surprising level of depth, forcing players to multitask between expanding their influence across the game world by controlling resource points, to defending your base against the enemy and attacking them directly with a variety of towers and weapons. Players have access to a variety of modes, including the single player adventure mode, local and online multiplayer, and the nightmare mode for more experienced players who have completed the game and want a greater challenge. As this game is a family friendly title and is best enjoyed in multiplayer, once again I've enlisted my helpers to help me review the game. Let's have a look at Cannon Brawl. Cannon Brawl's campaign places the player in control of a young princess who is attempting to rescue her father the king, along with battling her traitorous uncle who has usurped control of the kingdom. Along the way you'll build an army by rescuing your father's imprisoned forces and capturing weapons and vehicles to use in your battle for freedom. Unfortunately the story is simplistic, and it's just a vehicle for setting up the campaign. However, the gameplay is simple but addictive. It eases the player into the game through a series of matches with AI opponents and eventually some boss fights, allowing them to learn the strengths and weaknesses of each of the towers in the game. The goal of each level is to destroy the enemy base. You control an airship, which is your mobile base, using it to capture and control areas of the map. Controlling an area provides income via building gold mines. These provide the resources you need to construct your towers. You initially have access to basic artillery that can be used to bombard your enemy. But as you progress through the campaign you will unlock additional weapons, like lasers, ice cannons, missile launchers and even nuclear warheads. You can also build defensive towers like shield generators that provide a renewable energy barrier and repair bays to maintain your towers, as well as banks which can be used to convert enemy forces to your cause. In addition to the 30 levels of the campaign, you can also earn medals by completing levels within a time limit, and there's also a set of puzzle levels, both of which can be completed to earn points, which are spent to unlock new towers, airships, and pilots. The store thankfully only uses in-game currency, and there are no microtransactions in the game, which is a big plus. Unlike other strategy games like Worms, Cannon Brawl's gameplay takes place entirely in real time. Winning requires both intense focus and multitasking, with the player needing to adapt their tactics based on the buildings and tactics of the opposing team. Buildings can only be built in areas you control so players will need to expand their influence using air balloons in order to claim resource points and prevent the enemy from claiming them for themselves. The more area the player controls, the more towers it can be built for attack and defense. Like all good strategy games, smart players will try to control strategic areas of the map, like choke points and the high ground, with smart use of towers providing a decisive advantage. Turrets will not automatically target enemy forces, and must be manually fired by the player. This means moving between towers to trigger them while keeping an eye on their cooldown. The player can build as many towers as their resources allow. You can only bring 5 types of structure into the map. Therefore, success can often depend on selecting the right mix of offensive and defensive towers. The terrain itself can also be a challenge, as it can and will be destroyed during battle, preventing players from rebuilding. Cannon Brawl adds another layer of depth by allowing players to choose from a variety of pilots, 
with airships that have unique abilities such as terrain destroying drills or mobile shields. Wily Campaign is a solid introduction to the game. It's a multiplayer where Cannon Brawl really shines. Battles are a fast paced chaotic affair with players frantically trying to defend their territory while trading artillery shots with the enemy. Unlike other competitive multiplayer games, the player with the highest reaction times is not always guaranteed victory. I found that knowledge of when and where to use the different towers and efficient use of my airships are essential along with the ability to plan ahead and adapt to changing battlefield conditions. When fighting defensive players, I would try to control the high ground and use a combination of artillery and missiles to overload their shields. When up against offensive players, I would switch to more devious tricks, like using banks to bribe buildings to join my side, or using bomb launchers and lasers to attack their base directly. You can also take advantage of warheads to punch holes in enemy defences, and ice cannons to disable turrets, giving you time to land your next attack. Finally, the ability to choose what towers and airships I used meant that I could handicap myself when fighting less experienced players, making matches feel a little bit more even. The multiplayer even includes ranked matches, helping to ensure that players are evenly matched. However, the lack of larger maps meant that most of my matches felt cramped, and I really hoped the developer would include some larger levels, as matches rarely lasted longer than 5 to 10 minutes. So do I recommend this game? Well, Cannon Brawl is a deceptively simple strategy game that's easy to pick up but hard to master. The campaign is short, but has excellent replay value with medals to earn and puzzles to complete, along with the more difficult Nightmare Mode for veterans. The multiplayer allows you to challenge your friends locally or online in frantic fast-paced battles, with the players needing to master a huge variety of unlockable towers and airships, and the colourful graphics, gradual learning curve and ability to use handicaps make this a great choice to play with younger audiences. I only wish the music was a little bit more varied, and the levels a little larger so battles could be played out on a bigger scale. If you're looking to pick up this game, I recommend getting it on PlayStation, as it's only $10 as opposed to the Steam version, which is $20. I recommend this game for strategy fans who enjoyed titles like Worms, or those looking for a more casual strategy experience. I hope you enjoyed this look at Cannon Brawl, and if you did, I appreciate a like or a subscribe as it really helps the channel. I hope you'll join me next time when we look at another indie game. Until then, Skill Incarnate, out.